of physics rework we showcased last week that will make vehicles old and new fly better than ever before? I have no real power here. The new Jumptown 2.0 dynamic event, which we should really come up with a better name for because it's also Raven's Roost in Paradise Cove now as well, and something new to help players hold down those drug labs, allow me to introduce to you the Cutlass Steel, the newest offering from Drake Interplanetary that lets you bring people and guns to bear on targets like never before. Let's start with the guns. We heard you like guns. So in addition to the four size three gimbals controlled by the pilot, one man turret with size threes, we've added an additional remote turret with size two, a whole bunch of missiles, and of course the brand new hotness five door-mounted ballistic Gatlings, two on each side and one at the rear to bring a veritable death blossom of firepower down upon Raven's Roost, Paradise Cove, Jump Town, or heck, just about anywhere. Then, once you've cleared the area, we go inside the ship to discover a whopping 18 jump seats full of mercenaries or commandos ready to maintain control of the area. Is it a lot? Maybe. Is it excessive? Possibly. Is it Drake? Through and through, you bet your butt it is. The Cutlass Steel will be straight to flyable when our next patch goes live. Let me try some unofficial ad copy here. The Drake Cutlass Steel. It's a lot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so that that was that was the, the entire segment that I wanted to go through, man. Uh, my key question I'm going to ask you guys is, are you going to buy the Drake Cutlass Steel? All right, before we get into that, let me, um, some of my thoughts on it. Um, I feel that <laughs> they put very little effort. They just put guns and seats <laughs> on the cutlass black and that's it. And you got a cutlass steel. Um, personally, uh, them adding the turret in the back is pretty nice. I wonder who's gonna who's gonna be able to control the turret in the back first and foremost, right? How are you gonna control the turret in the back? Would it be the co-pilot? Or is there gonna be it seems like it's a remote turret too? Where is it? Seems like it's a remote turret. Yeah, it looks like it's a remote turret, so maybe there's going to be another terminal um, in which you can access this. But it's possible the co-pilot, because remember, the Cutlass has two seats in the front plus a, a physical turret where somebody has to get into. So ultimately, the turret is at least at a minimum a three-man ship to run it efficiently. So... What they could do is actually give the access of this turret to the actual co-pilot um, while the main pilot runs the main guns and then somebody else runs the actual manual turret. All right. So um, and then the five guns, the mounted guns in here. So, I mean, it's essentially when you think about it, it's really um, if you're into this type of gameplay where you like to play the dropship type of mechanic without having to invest um, I'm not sure how much a Valkyrie is right now in the PU. Um, if you don't want to invest too much into a Valkyrie, maybe this is a, a first step before you get into a Valkyrie. I can see that. Um, but uh, aside from that, it's really a Cutlass Black with some turret guns on it. And uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and also another concern that I have for, for this gun is the fact that it's uh the amount of energy the amount of armor and shielding it, it has to be a tough ship the cutlass black isn't really a tough ship it can't really take too many hits right so if you're coming in and you're dropping off 18 individuals you need to be able to tank a lot and to also hit hard so in terms of firepower the firepower is there all right the firepower is there but it seems like it's gonna lack on unless they allow it to have a size 
two shield. I don't know what what is what is the cutlass black have? Does it have size one shields or size two shields? Unless they give it an extra shield. Because right now, if you take a cutlass black in when it's under heavy fire, it just takes a little bit to get through its shield and it's in it's in the red. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it. You guys let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. Are you going to get it in the PU? Are you going to purchase? Are you going to pledge for it? Uh, let me know and uh, in the comments below. All right. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe um, for more content like this. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one.